One of the good things about being single is nobody to yell at me when I buy a new cooker. So today's new cooker day here on Eat More Vegans. This is a wood fired oven. All right, so here's the backstory guys. So just like many of you, I am a big fan of James from Smoke and Dad Barbecue. I've been watching his channel for a long time and I got to work with him. I got to do a collab. Some of you saw it. Some of you actually found me through that collaboration but I watched as James unveiled his new La Piazza wood-fired oven. And his excitement over that oven is a little bit contagious, but I'm keto and I don't make a lot of pizza. So like the idea of me working with a pizza oven, you know, really wasn't a thing for me. But when I went up there and I worked with him and he and I talked about it, is that wood-fired ovens have been around for a long time and they're a tool for way more than just making pizzas. This is, these are tools that chefs use that are recipes you might do in the oven, but with the advantage of cooking with fire, right? So I thought about it and I thought maybe this is a thing that I want to do. And guess what? The people from La Piazza that sponsored James saw the videos from our collaboration and they reached out and they said, Hey, would you be interested in working with us? We like what you're doing. We like your production quality. We like how you cook. What would you do? So I told them, you know, I, uh, I'm a pretty good cook and I cook in my oven a lot and I've never cooked in a wood fired oven, but I've always wanted to. If they were open for me to do recipes that are oven recipes with the added value of being cooked in a wood fired oven instead of an oven in the kitchen, that not only did I think I could make some great food, but I thought that might be something that my audience, that you guys really would enjoy. They like the idea of showing everybody that it's not a pizza oven, it's a wood fired oven. And so in a pretty quick phone call, we all got excited. They got excited about getting access to you folks and what you might bring to the table. And I got excited about being able to cook on this new wood fired oven. And so a couple weeks later, this showed up. So what I'm not gonna be doing is cooking a lot of pizza. I mean, I might cook one or two pizzas on it, but pizza's not my thing. But like, I'm gonna be doing a lot of different stuff. Like my first cook is gonna be a rack of lamb, not a smoked rack of lamb, trying to turn a pizza oven into a smoker, but actually showing you wood fired cooking the way that it was supposed to be. By the way, a lot of you are dads, which means a lot of you have set up furniture and stuff yourself. Let me tell you one of the things that's super impressive, not just about the cooker, but about setting this thing up. There's literally four pieces of hardware. I've got M8 bolts. I've got flat washers. I've got locking washers from when I put the wheels on and I've got nuts. And these are all standardized across the whole build. Some of you might ask why La Piazza? Why did I pick La Piazza? Well, I'm going to tell you the decision for me was easier than it is for a lot of people. I made the decision because somebody I respect, James from Smoking Dad Barbecue, did the research. He actually did a video on all the reasons why he chose it. But like when you look at from the low end mass market stuff all the way to the higher end custom built stuff, really the things that you find are the ability to manage fire matters, the size of the opening, ability to retain heat, cook with retained heat matters, and all of those things our rock star with the La Piazza brand and price is actually pretty good. Like in its bracket, it's not priced like the low end cheapy ones you're going to get at Costco, right? But it's not priced like those super expensive ones, but from a performance perspective, it is going to perform like those. And watching James cook on his, I knew that I didn't need to spend a lot of time making this decision that I knew which brand I wanted to work with. So what I'm building right now is the base that the oven's gonna stand on. It's gotta be a pretty sturdy base because that thing weighs over 300 pounds. So let me speed through setting this up because uh, you don't wanna just sit here watching me use a ratchet and a wrench. And uh, I'll see you on the other side when it's time to load the pizza oven on it. Okay. 
Okay, so we got this beast up on the stand, which by the way is not a one person or even a two person job. So even if you're strong, get some help. It's starting to rain, which means I can't finish the setup or film in the video today. So I got to put the uh, cover on it, let it finish raining. When it stops, I'm going to finish putting it together and talk you through it and show you all the tools and all of that stuff. But in the meantime, there's a message I have for James. So first of all, thank you for introducing me to this and uh, B, mine's bigger. Okay, welcome back. Took a couple of days for it to stop raining and dry up so I could finish, but let me show you the rest of this oven. Inside, you're gonna see that we've got the ceramic bricks on the floor. We've got the stainless steel dome which uh, does have uh, more fire brick underneath. We've got, this is called an andiron. This is actually a device that helps us to keep the wood fire where we want it. So like it spins around like this and I'll build the fire over there so the flame comes up over top, right? And then on the stack, I can control the airflow by opening or closing. So I've got it all the way open that way. And then also there's a set of accessories that I've got. Now, sometimes these come with the bigger ovens like these, uh, but even if not, you can get them separately. And La Piazza has got a coupon code I'll put down in the description. Let's put it on the screen right now so that you can uh, save 30% on everything from stands and covers and all of this stuff. So this is a really awesome pizza accessory kit. So uh, it's got pizza peels, both the big square and the small round peel. Obviously, I'm not gonna be making a lot of pizza on it, but uh, I'll be able to use these for moving everything from wood to food around. It's got an ash shovel. It's got an ash brush for cleaning the bottom. And then of course, it's got a rake for moving everything from coals to ash around. Boy, I'm excited. So I'm gonna cook a rack of lamb right now. And that video is gonna come out next week. So if it's out, I'm gonna put it right there and you can watch it. If not, make sure you're subscribed and you got that notification bell so that you know when that video comes out. And in the meantime, watch the other video I'm gonna put up there. I'll see you next week on Eat More Vegans.